Okay, so and now let's have a follow-up video on the previous one. The follow-up was uh, the previous one was what am I actually doing? Um, maybe a little bit of how I'm doing it by pulling, not pushing, offering hands, pointing in directions, um, exploring, uh, experimenting, doing things myself, trying out things. Like I've been now living off grid for five years, um, living without a personal overshoot day. Uh, found out that it's much much easier than I thought and um, I only see benefits like more connected healthier more outside more fun more free time less difference between free time work sport it's you know more connected everything um, so much easier to understand lifestyle um, and, and creating opportunities for others to participate um, to experiment also but let's go back to the why uh, why am I doing this well obviously because I'm alive uh, otherwise I couldn't do it um, and that's also already where we where it starts getting interesting the why question why why am I uh, what is my purpose and I start by answering this question by why am I obviously because life in all its diversity is how it is the planet is how it is the habitat is suitable for human survival so my reason the reason why I am is because life is how it is and being very egocentric or ecocentric, it doesn't matter, the result is the same. Because of this, obviously what my purpose in my actions, my personal why better be or needs to be or can easily be, is also to serve the well-being in all its diversity, the well-being of life in all its diversity, right? It can be very selfish uh, because I, my life depends on it. So I better get busy serving the well-being of life. And with that come a lot of questions like what is enough? Uh, is something that I might buy, is it helping uh, the human survival situation? Is it helping, is it serving the well-being of life? Yeah. Uh, and if there are question marks, then I like to take a second look at this. Um, that's basically the why in a nutshell. It's pretty simple. And when I look at our situation, what we slipped into, because we really slipped into a world where there is more spoons than people, for example, and we slipped also into a mindset where we now figure out how to make more sustainable spoons instead of just um, you know, carrying the favorite spoon with us. Um, <laughs> so the situation that we slipped into, I feel it's really interesting because we assume that there is a lot of power in many people, especially when we are in the blame game. And it's easy to identify, you know, where we can or want to push. At the same time, I think pushing is not the most sustainable way of facilitating change. Um, I think there is a lot of good movement and that, that's just like supporting, supporting the initiative, supporting the thoughts, supporting um, shared topics, right? The, the, the shared why. And, and I feel that is also the communication of the shared why, right? The common ground right under our feet. You know, the story that the ship stops sinking once it hits the common ground. Maybe we cannot get water out of our ship where we constantly drill holes faster than the water that is coming in. And we cannot decide if we plug holes or shovel water or tell others to stop drilling holes or try to not drill holes actively ourselves. We can be really busy with that. We can also steer our boat to hit the common ground then it will also stop sinking and then we can build rescue boats and this is a place here this is a kind of a rescue boat um, wouldn't call it an ark but it's uh, it's something yeah idea worth sharing i guess hmm. that was the why also four minutes have a good time enjoy take care <laughs>